So today we're working on a C250 um, 2012. Uh, problem customer having is the key. The remote works, but when you put the key in the ignition, nothing happens. Uh, we believe that uh, is the steering lock that's supposed to do a noise when you put the key in the ignition it doesn't work, so we're gonna attempt to install an emulator to fix that problem. So we're gonna try to install and change an emulator. Uh, we're gonna go Mercedes. We're gonna go expert selection. We're gonna go to EIS read the IS data, OBD on the vehicle, auto scan, W207, reading the EIS, after we did the read the IS, we're going to press OK. Do you want to save? Yes, we're going to save this EIS. Um, ending in 455. Five. Just a bin. We're going to go ahead and do just to get the password from the key. Since we did already this job, so we have the key code. If not, you're gonna to need to do a calculation, just like adding a key. That password will be necessary um, in order to program a new key. I have it right here. After we have the key password, we're just gonna go ahead um, to write the ESL. Um, keep in mind that you need to take the cable off from the ESL, uh, which is this blue thing over there. And you're gonna need to hook up the auto cable from the G-Box, from the K7 side, to the back of the top right one, but we're gonna put it on the back of it, and we're gonna connect the ESL into it. We will go to right ESL. So we're gonna choose the file that we saved uh, before. So it's gonna go by the date or the VIN. So we're gonna load the EIS file. Okay. Now we need the key password and the EIS SSID. So after we place the key password and the EIS ID, we get just gonna hit OK. Now it's writing the ESL data. Successfully in writing, we're just gonna hit OK. And the moment of truth. Remember before it was black. Now we're gonna put the key in ignition. We heard the kick. Car comes on. 